Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to Swayam Prabha. The course title is Principles of Marketing and the lecture title is Consumer Behavior. This is Module 4, Lecture 2. I am Dr. Shoma Singhupta, Associate Professor Commerce, Kamla Nehru College, University of Delhi. In this lecture, we will cover the following two topics, factors influencing consumer buying decisions and buying roles and buying behavior. Major factors influencing buyer behavior. The four major factors which influences buyer behavior are the cultural factors, social factors, personal factors and psychological factors. We will discuss each one of them in detail in the next few slides. Now these factors make up the whole being of the consumer and they definitely have an influence on their whole entire uh, buyer behavior as well as the choice, beliefs and everything. So we will discuss each of these factors in detail. The first set of factors that influence uh, the buyer behavior are cultural factors. Under it, there are three sub factors culture, subculture and social class. Culture, it is the sum total of learned beliefs, values and customs that serve to direct the consumer behavior or members of a particular society. Now, whoever is uh, inside, insider of that culture, for them that the culture is very normal. But those who are outside that culture, for them the culture may seem a little different from their own culture or sometimes even weird. Some of the customs which is followed in a particular culture may not be common in other cultures. So they have unique uh, uh, cultural uh, beliefs and value system and that system is unique to that particular culture. So when a marketer is doing business, he has to understand the culture of a particular uh, area or the people belonging to a particular culture. Uh, uh, you know that in India also, uh, in Kerala, matriarchal system is followed. So that is there in culture, in their culture. So while doing business over there or advertising, you have to take these things in your mind. Then the another thing is subculture. Now it is each culture consists of smaller subcultures that provide more specific identification and socialization for their members. Example is nationalities, religious groups. So they form the subculture. So um, India as a whole, Indians, they have a culture and there again, the subcultures are there for every uh, type or category of people belonging to different religion, different uh, areas or um, speaking different languages. So that may form subcultures. Then there is social class. They are relatively homogeneous, uh, homogeneous and enduring divisions of the society. Example, upper uppers. So whatever product is meant for upper uppers, for that a specific kind of marketing mix will be required, which will be very different for uh, a product which is meant for lower lowers. So there will be the, the combination of four P's will be different for a product meant for one uh, category of people or one class of people. And then uh, it will be different for another class of people. The second category of factors which have an impact on buyer behavior are social factors. Under it, there are three sub factors, reference groups, family and roles and statuses. 
when we talk about the reference group this is the all the groups that have a direct or indirect influence on a person's attitudes or behavior example family friends trade union suppose you are going to a particular school or college the classmates your classmates um, they all have a have an impact on your decision making so when a marketer is doing business he tries to understand to which reference group this person is engaged in this class of customer is engaged in and accordingly they design the their marketing strategies likewise another important social factor is family now family because the uh, concept of family is changing over years uh, like from uh, joint families to now nucleus families then there are people who are living in only so they all can be a case of family so two or more persons related by blood marriage or adoption who reside together can be considered as family now family does have an impact on your uh, uh, total makeup plus uh, the decision making skills as well as the your purchase decisions so uh, to uh, uh, in, in fact generally the women goes through two types of family from one where she takes birth that is the family of procreation and then when she goes after marriage especially in indian uh, customs and that is the uh, that is family after marriage so she uh, she has learned certain uh, uh, purchase decision skills when she was part of the uh, family where she is born and then she imbibes certain other characteristic when she goes uh, uh, joins another family after marriage so both will have an impact on her decision making likewise for males also the family of procreation is of course there and sometimes after marriage they uh, stay in a nucleus family so how they deal with uh, situations where they have to buy the product and all so there again um, his spouse will have an impact children will have an impact so other factors other relatives will have an impact on his decision making as well uh, uh, the third fact so a sub factor is roles and statuses now a role consists of activities that a person is expected to perform like that of a mother teacher now each role carries a status and accordingly a person behaves so suppose a person is the ceo of a company then he is enjoying a uh, higher status and accordingly whatever he will be purchasing right from his clothing to shoes or, or footwear or, or the automobile or anything the membership of a club everything is related with his role as well as the status uh likewise a teacher uh, she enjoys a certain kind of status in the society so he, she has to behave in certain manner she wears certain type of clothes though they, that may be considered as stereotypical and now you know that people are breaking those stereotypes but nevertheless in general sense those stereotypes are continuing so that will have an impact on her uh, choice of clothing to footwear to whatever she is eating or what type of house she is residing in or what type of family she has so that will also uh, be monitored by the um, marketer so if you want to reach to the teachers you will have a particular kind of marketing strategy if you want to reach to the um, uh, see the ceo of a company then another type of marketing strategy or marketing mix will be used the third major factor which has an impact on uh, buyer behavior is uh, called uh, personal factor or personal factors and there are many sub factors under personal factors first is age and stage in the life cycle so people buy different group goods and services over their lifetime consumption is also shaped by the family life cycle so what type of product a person will buy that is determined by the age his age as well his or her age as well as the stage of the life cycle or the family life cycle also suppose you are a student 
in your bachelorhood you will be buying products which are uh, meant for that category of people maybe books or, or notebooks and pens and pencils and all those things now uh, when you become uh, when you get married or there is a honeymooner stage then you uh, buy different types of products like to uh, set up your house uh, a new say dining table furniture all all other kinds of fine furniture furnishings kitchen uh, utensils so that is there during the honeymooner stage when there is in the family life cycle when you one uh, child is uh, get uh, takes birth in the family then the type of purchases will differ baby food and uh, all the products which are meant for um, uh, care of the child or uh, then there will be full uh, nest that is um, uh, another children is born so expenditure will mount and all the expenditures will be related to upbringing of the children and then they um, grow up and then there is a stage where uh, during the grown up uh, when the stu student uh, teacher uh, sorry the children are growing up they are the expenditure again all the more it mounts you are thinking about college's admission uh, and that requires a huge amount of money in at that stage the family might not be having that much of extra money to spend on luxury items then the there is a stage where we call it empty nest when uh, the children uh, they go out of the house for jobs they leave the house they get married and then they leave the house and the only the uh, the uh, husband and wife they stay back so then they they may be having lots of spare time and lots of money but uh, no responsibilities at all so marketers then they target these category of people nowadays um, such type of couples are increasing in number and because of that travel agents and uh, all the medical and insurance services they are looking for such type of clients and then there is a stage where only one partner remains and then medical care mount, mounts and then that kind of products are bought likewise another sub factor is occupation a blue collar workers consumption pattern will be entirely different from that of a white collar worker so accordingly the marketer will have to decide to whom to cater to and likewise they will discuss decide the marketing mix for uh, that type of product then uh, economic circumstances that also has an impact on buyer behavior so people's economic circumstances consists of their um, spendable income savings and assets debts borrowing powers etc so those people who have extra spare money so they spend on travel and recreation so marketer looks for such type of people to sell such type of product then there are certain other people who have less income and they are a little thrifty then the marketer thinks about selling those products which are uh, priced a little lower and uh, but of good quality to such type of people or large packs so that there is a huge saving in such kind of purchases so according to the type of uh, or the characteristic of the buyer the marketer will design the marketing strategies there are certain other personal factors which we will discuss in the next slide the other personal factors are lifestyle a person's pattern of living in the world as expressed in the person's activities interests and opinions like achiever lifestyle working long hours and playing hard at travel and sports so and if you have a lifestyle of an achiever then you will spend more on say sports car or long hours playing hard on travel and um, say sports so that kind of feature now uh, there is a little bit of difference between what occupation and what things we have discussed although there is a direct relation between occupation income and the lifestyle but still we find that in certain people they they spend more on recreation and travel or um, uh, say sports than uh, those people who may be having higher income than these people because different people have different kind of lifestyle so marketer has to identify to which category of people they uh, uh, are targeting and accordingly they have to design their marketing package likewise another factor which have has an impact on the uh, buyer uh, behavior that is personality now personality is a person's distinguishing psychological characteristics that lead to relatively consistent and enduring responses to his or her environment like 
if a uh, if a customer is like or if a person is like confident and dominant then uh, the kind of products he he will buy or she will buy will actually exhibit that characteristic so irrespective of even uh, her his or her uh, income uh, the product may be matching with her personality so that again marketer has to study then another is self concept how a person views himself is his self concept okay so uh, do you think that i am a winner or i am a extrovert and that type of product you will buy that type of clothing you will wear so that again has an impact on your buyer behavior the last category of factors which have has an impact on buyer behavior uh, are psychological factors the sub factors under psychological factor is uh, motivation a motive is a need that is sufficiently press pressing to drive the person to act satisfying the need reduces the felt tension so the thing is there is a drive Uh, that is that creates the motive to buy a particular thing and at that time when you are not having that product you are restless there is a tension and uh, once you buy the product and satisfy your need then that tension is gone so that tension that drive that motive is driving the behavior of the customer now these we have discussed earlier also there can be some innate needs inner needs and then there there are certain things certain needs which are triggered by a situation okay uh, then there are certain uh, hidden needs also sometimes uh, you are buying a particular product just to show off that you belong to a particular class or category so the marketer has to understand the motives behind purchasing the uh, purchasing the particular product so that accordingly they can decide about the marketing cues or the tools they have to use then the another psychological factor is perception this is the process by which an individual selects organizes and interprets information inputs to create a meaningful picture of the world so how you are seeing a particular thing that is your perception and that may differ from another person who is seeing the same thing but in a different manner so uh, uh, for, uh, this this is very important while designing the advertisements or promotion campaign people emerge with different perceptions of the same object because of three perceptual processes They, whenever you are seeing an advertisement in the newspaper or in on television the three things um, uh, keep on going that uh, and that is uh, selective attention selective distortion and selective retention first of all selective attention because there are so many advertisements will you attend to each and every ad, uh, or pay attention to each and every advertisement uh, maybe it is not possible for you so you may be there is a need and you are looking for a particular kind of product say you need a laptop so you selectively you will see all the advertisements of laptop only so that is selective attention there is there are other advertisements may or maybe of refrigerator but you are missing out on that because you are putting all your attention on advertisements of laptop then there are selective distortion there is a mental makeup and accordingly you see the advertisement and you, whatever information is there it is get it, it gets processed in your mind but you add or delete something to it according to your own makeup so that is selective distortion so you interpret that advertisement in your own manner and in that uh, process it might be possible it may what you have interpreted is a little different from what the advertiser has intended you to understand so that is selective distortion then there can be selective retention of course you cannot retain all the advertisement so you retain only those thing which matches with your need or your perception or your mental makeup so that is selective retention whatever you wish to or you are looking for a particular kind of product and those advertisements you have paid attention to it so you are able to retain it so and whatever is matching with your psychological makeup that you usually retain so again the advert while creating advertisements the uh, advertise need to pay special attention to these three things 
Other psychological factors are beliefs and attitude. Belief is a descriptive thought that a person holds about something. For example, impact of country of origin on the product quality perception is always there. Like uh, Chinese product, we believe that they will not last for long. They are cheap, inexpensive, but they are not long lasting. So this is a perception which might not be true for all the Chinese products, but still that belief goes on. Uh, uh, likewise, even for Indian products, uh, the, uh, the Western world may have a different kind of belief. Then attitude. It is a person's enduring favorable or unfavorable evaluation, emotional feelings and action tendencies towards some object or idea. Like my attitude is by the best. So, uh, I will not buy any substandard quality of any product because my perception, my attitude is about buying the best and if I buy the best, I will be satisfied and I will get the best quality. So, uh, if that is the attitude, you will even wait for a, uh, for a long time so that you are able to buy the best product. So that again, marketer has to understand what type of, what category of people are there and what is their attitude towards the buying process itself. There is another way of understanding these factors that we have discussed uh, to understand the consumer behavior. So these factors can be again classified into personal determinants and interpersonal determinants. Now personal determinants are very specific to an individual's whole makeup like his needs and motives, perceptions that is interpreting the stimuli or cues to form a complete picture, attitudes, personality, self-concept and also the whole process of learning. Now this process by which this is learning is the process by which individuals acquire the purchase and consumption knowledge and experience they apply to future related behavior. Now, the elements of learning, this include included in most learning theories like behavioral learning theory, classical conditioning theory, cognitive learning theory. So, these elements are motivation, cues, response and reinforcement. So, we have discussed these factors under uh, say psychological factors. We have discussed most of the things and these are very specific to any individual. The other category of determinants of consumer behavior are known as interpersonal determinants. Now under it, we have already discussed some of all these factors under different uh, uh, categories like social and cultural factors. So there the culture, subculture, reference group, family influences, social class and opinion leaders, they will have an influence on the consumer's decision making process. One of this category is very important that is opinion leader. Now, uh, uh, people follow the opinion leader. So, marketer tries to catch these opinion leaders because whatever the opinion leader will be buying or propagating, um, uh, the uh, followers will buy that particular product also. So, the opinion leaders, um, they have a certain kind of knowledge and interest. They are also called innovators. Whenever a new product is introduced, they are the first one who adopt these new products. Then their personal characteristics are very much different. They would like to try the new products they have a, an opinion to form they if they say yes then there are followers who, who believe that they are you know, taking the right decision then they have a specific media habits also so marketer has to find out who are these opinion leaders for their category of products in a particular market and what are their ha media habits so that they can reach the, the opinion leaders through those media, using those media or advertising their products in those media. So these are the interpersonal determinants of consumer behavior. The next heading is buying roles. Now we have discussed this buying roles uh, when we were discussing the whole of the consumer buying behavior. And uh, we have found that people play different roles while taking the buying decisions. So there are five different roles people might play in a buying decision. First is initiator, a person who first suggests the idea of buying the product or service. Now the initiator may be any member of the family or 
uh, it may be an outsider also so in a family sometimes your children they may be the initiator or you yourself may be the initiator or your spouse may be the initiator who first of all says that we must have this type of product influencer these are the persons whose view or advice influences the decision now the, these influencers again as i told you they can be any of the um, category of people we have discussed like the children or the spouse and even somebody from outside may have influenced your decision like your friends or relatives so they may, they may have influenced their decision so when we talk about a family the members of family they whoever has influenced the decision to buy they are called influencer decider is the person who decides on any component of buying decision whether to buy what to buy when to buy where to buy so that we, that person is the decider most of the time the person who is making uh, the uh, uh, actually uh, will be making the purchasing uh, or the um, financial outlay that person is uh, decider of most of the thing because after all that uh, that person will will be the one who will be paying for the purchase but nevertheless other members of the family also take decisions like uh, uh, the color of the product or uh, uh, the model to be, to be bought or when we should go for that product or from which store we should buy that product then comes the so decider can be many people the buyer is another uh, category and uh, this is a person who actually makes uh, uh, goes to the market and makes the actual purchase or, or sits online and buy the product so that person might not be using the product but since he is making the he or she is making the purchase that person is called buyer user is a person who consumes or uses the product so um, you know, whoever consumes the product it may be its children or the spouse so that person can be considered as user there are many other buying roles added to this list like disposer is the person who disposes of the leftovers and the containers so uh, many other roles are being added but these are the five roles which was identified and was uh, has been discussed by kotler also in his book principles of marketing next we study a very important topic and that is buying behavior now th there are four types of buying behavior which you can see in this diagram and that is a combination of two uh, factors and one is involvement of the buyer high involvement or low involvement now it involvement is when the financial outlay or uh, amount of money to be paid for particular product um, uh, is higher more then naturally the buyer will be more involved in each aspect of that decision so we call it high involvement product then there are certain products where the financial outlay will be less or um, habitually you are buying that product so they are ca called low involvement product because you take little time to decide on buying that product that can be considered in the x axis in the y axis two other uh, parameters one uh, one parameter is there that is uh, the difference between the brand if there are lots of brands and there is significant differences between the brands then naturally you will weigh each one of them because significant differences are there and if there are few differences between the brand naturally brand x brand y or brand a brand b they are more or less similar so one can replace another then naturally the, the amount of time you will spend in deciding will be less the combination of these two factors that is involvement and the number of brands that if we uh, position them in a grid like structure then we have four types of buying behavior high involvement product with significant differences between the brands then it is called complex buying behavior low involvement product with significant differences between the brand is known as variety seeking buying behavior high involvement product but few differences in the brands is dissonance reducing buying behavior and low involvement and few differences between the brand then it is called habitual buying behavior so we will discuss each one of them um, uh, in detail here only so first is about complex buying behavior as the name suggests it's a complex buying behavior because 
one it is a high involvement product so it's an expensive thing and or or more uh, you have to um, brainstorm to come to a decision so it is a high involvement product and there are significant differences between the brands so you have to decide on brand x or brand y because they are very different and financial outlay is also important uh, is uh, huge so here the uh, the consumer will spend more time in taking decision regarding buying the product so they there they will look for every detail about the product so that is a complex buying behavior and here the marketer's job is to because financial outlay is there so marketer's job is to give more and more information about their brand tell them about the features or unique features about the brand so that they can buy or go for your brand only because they are seeking lots of information they can go to any length to buy the product then uh, next is variety seeking buying behavior here the product is not very expensive and uh, uh, there but there are significant differences between the brand see for the exam for example chocolates so variety is there or biscuits variety is there and there there and there are significant differences between the brands also but since the financial outlay is very less then people try to switch uh, they try to uh, actually taste all types of brand so they are variety seeking they switch from one brand to another brand so here again marketer's job is to uh, try to make these kind of uh, customers loyal customers loyal to uh, because they are switchers now you want them to become loyal so you have to um, sell that idea that your brand or your the um, product you are offering is the best then there is habitual buying behavior is a very low involvement product uh, that is financial outlay is very less and few differences between brands are there like uh, say salt so whether you are buying brand x or brand y the salt will remain the salt except for few features that are iodized but most of the salt being offered in the market are iodized now the price of the salt is some 20 rupees for per kg until and unless you are going for some special kind of salt now habitually you buy the product you buy every time you are going or you are ordering the uh, this salt you are ordering this particular brand only so that is ha habitual buying behavior here the marketer's job is uh, again you cannot stop advertising you have to advertise and uh, remind the people that this is the best brand that you are buying over the years then last is dissonance reducing buying behavior that it is a high involvement product and there is few differences between the brands so once you buy the product even in mobile the differences are now dwindling so although they say that so many features are there but actually there are not lots of features uh, uh, which is unique to a particular brand okay except for few so market uh, the consumer because it is expensive one you once bought, buy the product and then you have this dissonance uh, that is is this the best thing that i have done or uh, we have discussed dissonance reducing behavior in our previous uh, uh, portion also so here the uh, consumer is looking for those information um, which will actually satisfy him that he has made the right choice okay so uh, support his decision to support his decision that he has made the right choice so here the marketer's job is to uh, give them after sa sales service and congratulating them that they have made the right choice and telling them how their brand is the best uh, you have bought their brand and that is the best decision so at every stage the marketer has to or every type of product the marketer has to play a different strategy so uh, and for complex buying behavior the uh, of course uh, uh, i have not given the example that is about say uh, a luxury car if you are buying that is a complex buying behavior variety seeking i already told you about the biscuits chocolates and toffees and all habitual buying behavior we talked about salt or other consumables and dissonance reducing buying behavior is about Uh, say a clothing or a mobile phone where involvement is higher and but there are few differences between the brands consumer adoption process 
Now, when a marketer introduces a new product in the market, uh, adoption of that product is not an automatic phenomenon. It will be not uh, overnight. Consumer will not try the product. So the, we, we are well aware that the consumer passes through different stages before finally adopting the product. And the marketer is aware of that. So while adopting a new product, a consumer passes through a mental process. And this is known as the consumer adoption process. This process consists of five stages, awareness, interest, evaluation, trial, and adoption. First stage is awareness. Here the customer is or consumer is totally unaware about the product or even if he has little knowledge about the product but he doesn't know anything about the product except for probably the brand name. Now here the marketer's task is to make the people know about the product. In this stage if the, if the marketer knows that most of the consumers are at this stage uh, he will spend hugely on advertisements and uh, also sales promotion also and so that people get to know about the product the second is interest here the customer or the potential consumer is aware about the product but uh, 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 now he has to take interest in the product so the marketer will uh, again through different types of schemes sales promotion schemes or advertisements or through personal selling <coughs> generate interest in the minds of the consumer so that they can they will see different information about the product once the information is collected by the uh, consumer or potential consumer then he will move to the next stage and that is evaluation so he will process all the information he has got so that he can uh, form an opinion about the product now uh, to enhance his uh, uh, opinion or make it positive the marketer can uh, help him in the fourth stage and that is trial so in in this stage the marketer will provide an opportunity to the consumer to try the product so for that samples may be distributed among them or uh, test drive for an automobile or free stay in a hotel so type of the product and accordingly some uh, trial opportunity will be given to the uh, potential consumer even they have stalls in all those fate and exhibitions where uh, the consumer get an opportunity to try the product so once the consumer tries the product and is satisfied with the customer uh, that product particular product then he will move to the final stage and that is adoption so here again, since purchase decision has to be made to buy the product and financial outlay is there. So again, uh, it is the job of the marketer to provide him with certain schemes so that rather than postponing his purchase, he will buy the product now. So this is whole process of adoption and at every stage, you know, the marketer has to predict what is the behavior of the consumer and accordingly marketing cues will be used or strategy will be used to woo the consumer. So this is the consumer adoption process. To summarize this lecture, we can say that the major factors influencing buying behavior or buyer behavior are cultural factors, that is culture, subculture, social class, Social factors, reference groups, family, roles and statuses. Personal factors, age and stage in the life cycle, occupation, economic circumstances, lifestyle, personality, self-concept. Psychological factors, motivation, perception, belief and attitude. These factors can be further classified into personal and interpersonal factors. The buying roles that are uh, uh, that an individual can play are initiator influencer decider buyer and user four types of buying behavior are complex buying behavior variety seeking habitual and dissonance reducing buying behavior the stages in consumer adoption process are awareness interest evaluation trial and adoption uh, uh, these are the different aspects of consumer behavior. Thank you very much students. So this was consumer behavior module 4 lecture 2.